Well, hello. Good morning to you. I am working on this big flower bouquet project for my grandmother, and so it's going to have multiple pages. And a couple of days ago on my one tutorial, I showed you how to weld up the happy birthday. Well, I want to add a butterfly to my bouquet. So, one of the neatest features about the new Sure Cuts a Lot 2 program is the image trace feature. Still maybe need to use a little Inkscape, but if you're just doing some simple images, this thing is super duper slick. So here I'm working on my butterfly page, and I'll show you in a later tutorial how to make pages, but here's the butterfly page that I want to work on. And I go up here to trace image, click on that, and brings up the screen. And let's go ahead and browse. I downloaded a really simple tracing of a butterfly. Pretty clean lines. That You want to make sure you're working with something with fairly clean lines. Let's do a preview of this. Okay, now if I just left this as, as is, I wouldn't be able to manipulate this different sections of the butterfly and it would just cut just as you see it here with the screen. And that's fine, that works good, no problem, not a, not a big deal. But I actually just want the outline of the butterfly here. So I'm going to ask it to break apart the outlines. Really easy. And we're going to hit OK. There. How easy is that? Remember when we used to have to, in old SCAL, we would have to go over to Inkscape and manipulate and fuss and manipulate and resize and all that? Don't have to do that as much as you do. Some of the real intricate designs, I, I absolutely do use Inkscape, but for this one, don't have to do it. Okay, now we see that the butterfly has all these different segments, and I really just want this outside segment for this particular project that I'm working on. So I'm going to make it a little smaller just so I can work with it a little bit easier. And I'm going to go up here to Object. While it is highlighted, I'm going to go to Object. I'm going to hit Ungroup. Come over here and click off the space. And now I'm going to grab just the outside so now I have the complete and total outline. If I want to cut the rest of this, I sure can, but if I want to remove different sections, I can do that. For now, I'm going to delete those because I don't want them. Because I just want that big section. That's it. Now I have the outline of my butterfly. He's going to be beautiful. And that's how you trace objects with the trace in Shortcuts a lot. There are a couple of these little uh, different settings down here. Use those as you need to. This kind of removes any of the spots that you'll see. Sometimes you just have to fiddle with these a little bit to get the image the way that you want it. But absolutely 100% easier than transferring from Inkscape all the time. I'm Charity Adams at AdamsAcres.com. Come and visit us at Adams Acres Scrapping and we'll send you some free uh, SCAL cutouts and SVG cutouts um, on the website. Have a good day.